Nudakara everyone, my name is Lara, I'm a proud Kajala Kabulba woman and welcome to Caramel Latte. This channel is dedicated to Aboriginal history, Indigenous voices and sharing as much information with y'all as I can. Today is a very informational session so I'm probably gonna call this like black basics or like stuff you should know. It's just gonna be kind of like a fact-based thing. Um, so this one is actually in response to one of you guys. You sent me a message saying that you are really curious about when is the right time to use particular language and what language should you use to describe us. So in Australia there are a bunch of different kind of overarching Indigenous, First Nations, Aboriginal, Torres Strait Islander, there's a whole bunch of um, kind of grouping names. Uh, so we're going to go through each of them today and talk about when you should use them, when you shouldn't use them, and what they actually mean. Number one, first, most important thing that we need to cover is a little bit of brief history. So, in Australia, there are two major groups of Indigenous peoples. There are Aboriginal people and Torres Strait Islander people. So, back in the day of colonisation and all of that... ...ness that happened then, uh, white people pretty much claimed the Torres Strait Islands. So the Torres Strait Islands are a group of islands which are off the northern part of the east coast of Australia. White ruling was it's going to belong to this new landmass that they call Australia. So we have these two major groupings in Australia but they are vastly separate. It's important to point out that Torres Strait Islander culture is an entirely separate culture in its entire right. Within the Torres Strait Islands, there are also many separate islands and groups within that which have separate language, separate culture, separate songs, separate dance, and that is also super important to acknowledge, that it is Torres Strait Islands made up of a lot of smaller, unique nations. Switching gear over to Aboriginal people. So it's the same for us. So collectively, Aboriginal is what you use to describe the mainland peoples of Australia. And much like the Torres Strait Islands, it's a massive landmass made up of a lot of smaller, incredibly unique nations. You may have in fact seen this map. So I always use this analogy because I find it so frustrating that still to this day people are like, no no, there was just one Aboriginal people and it was the same all over. Australia is massive. It is like the size of Europe and then some. So why on earth, when we have ideas like how big Europe is and how many small unique nations are part of it, but that logic doesn't transfer to Australia's first people, I will never understand. So we're a massive landmass like Europe and we were set up in small very unique nations like Europe, each with our own song, dance, language, culture, custom, trade routes. I'm getting on a tangent. While I'm on the topic of talking about Aboriginal I am going to point out a couple of words which are not okay. So at this point, any Aboriginal or Torres Strait Islander people listening, there may be some offensive words coming up. The best practice for Aboriginal people is to say Aboriginal people or Aboriginal peoples. Words that you shouldn't say are Abo, Aborigines or Aboriginals. Ugh, feels gross just saying it. Some of them back in the day were actually used uh, in government documents and broadly across society to isolate and destroy our peoples. So then using it now to describe us brings back those old wounds. So we definitely don't like hearing them because it reminds us of that past, which is very painful. Aboriginals, however, uh, is kind of, is offensive because it's like, it's like saying you're all the same. The Aboriginals. Whereas we're not. So by saying Aboriginal people, it kind of acknowledges that we are separate peoples. So in Australia, it's pretty staple to recognize both Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. In fact, you've probably heard like a bazillion political politician y speeches that start with, I would like to acknowledge the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples, blah, 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 blah. And it's usually in that block Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. Next, let's talk about Indigenous and First Nations. So these terms speak more broadly about First Peoples. So it includes both Aboriginal nations and Torres Strait Islander nations. It's kind of like the broad overarching word or words to describe everybody. Everybody that was First Peoples. But I'm pretty sure you get that by now that that's what I'm talking about. So even though these words are interchangeable, there's a couple of things that I want to point out between them. So 
Indigenous is a more anthropological terminology, so we also don't use words like native here in Australia because native is the same thing that you could use to describe a plant or a animal. And indigenous is kind of that same sort of language. Uh, and so because we have a history of not being recognized or being second-rate citizens and that kind of whole ideology that our people didn't count, we don't like to use that language because we count as people. We are people. First Nations, however, was a word that we actually nicked from Canada. So Canada made it first, um, and we were like, oh, that's a great idea, Canada, and then we're like, yoink. So First Nations is also really lovely because it acknowledges that we are first people and that we are separate nations. So out of the two of them, I prefer First Nations, but of course I'm not going to be like, how dare you if you use Indigenous, because it is absolutely acceptable and fine. So which one is good to use in what situation? Apart from those couple that we mentioned earlier, which I don't want to say again, so I'm just going to put up on screen, don't use those. But the rest of them are widely acceptable and relatively interchangeable, apart from in those situations I mentioned. So all of these on screen somewhere are correct. If, however, you are talking about the country that you are walking on, where you live, where you work, I think that it's important to know whose country that is. What is the name of the nation? Where do you live? What is important? Who are its people? I am a proud Gajala Kabobo woman, but I was born and raised on Gubby Gubby country right where it borders Waka Waka, and I live and work in Turrbal and Yagara country. I think it's important that every Australian can at least say, I was born on and I currently live on blank country. It's important to know the land that you walk. If you don't know where to look to find that information, Honestly, it's super easy to just look at your local politician and at the start of any speech they give it'll be like I would like to pay my respects to the blank 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 people But better yet is to go and connect with your local people Research, have a look around, go to IATSIS, look at the language map Go to rallies, find out about your local indigenous organisations and what they're up to Support local black artists, listen to black voices Just take the first step in fact, kind of by watching this video, you have. Of course, this is also what I want this channel to be. A little bit of a mecca for information spreading, and I will link um, the couple of things that I've mentioned, the map, uh, where you can find more information in links below for you as well. Go out, research, find out, learn, connect, engage. But if you want to stay connected with this channel, um, just hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you want to be notified of when I upload, because it's probably going to be pretty haphazard because of who I am as a person, uh, then just click the bell, and that should kind of give you a pop-up reminder of when something new is up on the channel. If you have any questions about our people that you've always wanted to ask, wanted to know more information about but a bit too scared to, contact me. If you have any people that you want to be featured, if you have any stories that you want to be shared, if you have any information that you're like, oh dude, you totally need to talk about this on your channel, it's important that that message gets spread out, then tell me. Contact me, um, best way is probably on my Instagram, so I'll link that here. Just drop me a line, I want this channel to be responsive, I want to share what gaps are missing in people's knowledge. As always, be nice in the comments, let me know if there's anything you want to see more of, and I will see you in the next one. Alright, peace out!